One time, one time, it's a bad man thing. It's body, baby. Vicious. Let's it's Vicious. Hello, hello, chair family friends. How are you doing? How are you doing? How are you doing? How are you doing? Oh, yes, guys. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to our channel. <laughs> guys, I hope you're looking cute. Are you looking cute? Yes, I can tell you're looking cute. Yes, you are cute, my darling. Don't let anybody tell you nothing. Also remember to tell me I like kids in the comment section, okay? If you're a mom, you will know this situation. As soon as the kids goes to school, like in the morning, everywhere is messy because they're looking for their shoe, looking for their bag, looking for their food, snack, lunch. It's not easy. If you're in my shoe, I want you to comment down below. After school runs, what happens? You come home and clean. Like everywhere is messy. Also, your girl is gonna be cooking today. Okay, and we're gonna be doing gist corner. Cook and gist with me, okay? Cook and gist with me. So, your girl is gonna be cooking because the kids are gonna come back. We might be having a mukbang as well this evening because I'm cooking stew, ogbono, a four, okay? Three, this is how I cook it and I just put it in the freezer. So I cook everything at once. So I put two here, ogbono here, a four here, three of them at once. So as soon as your girl wash the meat, she's gonna season the beef and the next thing she's gonna be cooking everything at once. Before you know the food is ready. And I'm gonna get time to be doing chef that is tie like dice, 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 presentation. Your girl, quick, 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 food is ready. Nobody got time. Like I said in my videos that a lot of people, instead of sending me like gist, so if I send me personal question, I told you guys before that I'm gonna, I'm gonna go through the personal questions that people actually sent to me, okay? So today, one of them is, yeah, I'm gonna be reacting to my video. You guys know I made a video like when me and my husband went to the picnic and I'd be like, your husband is your best friend. Nobody should be, nobody should be your best friend apart from your husband. So today I'm gonna be reacting to it because the person actually sent me a message, email, based on that video she was like you said your husband is your best friend like i don't really understand how do you make your best husband your best friend because she's married and her husband they're not like best of friends like, how do i maintain that friendly relationship with my husband like why can she not have friends like what do i actually mean like it does that mean that she cannot have friends outside of her marriage and like i just want to kind of react to that video and your husband should be your best friend so i'm just gonna be going in details okay tell you guys because guess what my husband is actually not my best friend he wasn't before i'm gonna tell you guys how did i maintain that friendly zone with my husband and why is my husband my best friend like some he actually like some husband cannot be your best friend they just cannot be because it's not possible some husband are just not good husband. But yeah, we're gonna go through that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my meat out from the fridge, okay? Wash them. So I don't want this video to be long. So what I'm gonna be doing is that I'm gonna be fast forwarding some part of the cooking and it's just gonna be when I'm talking, okay? So cook with me and just with me, okay? Get your glasses, get your tea, cause it's gonna be hot. This is what just cut out, but this time is more about your girl okay because this question is about me a question okay 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 also remember to communicate in the comment section put your two cents okay i would love to read that as well okay i love reading you all comment you guys know that you guys are my best friend i love you guys yes you get don't have a lot of best friend in real life so you guys are my best friend this is for you Mwah. i know i'm not looking cute no makeup but guess what Maybe I'm gonna look it later, you never know, but you can still tell me I look cute. <laughs> I'm gonna be wearing this mic because I really want my audio to be really clear. So this is why I have this mic because you guys have to hear what I'm saying because I'm gonna be moving around and I still want my audio to be like really nice and clear. I also have my computer here because your girl love to watch something when she's cooking. You know, it's just fun. I think what I would do is bring the meat out Clean that portion where I'm gonna be washing the meat. Make sure everywhere is clear in that portion. Leave the rest of the house. When I'm steaming the meat, okay, I will just clean up. So I use one stone to kill two beds, okay? So what I'm gonna do is wash the meat, put the meat on fire. So while the meat is steaming, I will not clean the rest of the house. Okay, so that's what I'm gonna do just to make everything fast. Okay, so yeah, let me grab the meat. Guys, I really need to clean the fridge as well today because everyone is messy. So I have turkey here. 
with turkey i don't put a lot of seasoning because turkey already have salt you know but i'm gonna steam this once so i'm just gonna like cover them now while i clean up this plate i'm gonna clean up everywhere even the fridge and you know i was saying to you me and my husband in the beginning we're not best friends you can see us laughing like hey, hoo -hoo, ha -ha. but it's over time okay we are friends you know friends boyfriend and girlfriend kind of friendship but there's no like kind of sense of humor where this person can just yab you this person can what is yab in english if you know what is yab comment down below this person can just talk to you like you know like banters and all those kind of stuff but over time only because you have to make a decision like to make your marriage your relationship to be what you want it to be okay so yeah but you guys might be like oh my god Chichi, how do you manage to be like all this kind of lovely relationship and all, of kind of, all those kind of stuff oh my, oh my god the first year it will not be like that so this thing like people say marriage made in heaven oh yes marriage is made in heaven but you yourself have to make a decision okay you yourself have to make a decision to make your home what you want to make it to be what you want your home to be. if you are married you just have to make sure you enjoy your marriage because at the end of the day if you're not happy you're not going to be smiling you're not going to be healthy you can be rich have all the money but when you're not happy you're not happy so for the question that your my husband is not my, yeah the person says oh i cannot make my husband my best friend because my husband is very very stiff okay if he's stiff losing up play like go and disturb me you guys see the way i disturb chef Ola. yes you know what i mean make him lose enough okay <laughs> Yeah. I'm gonna watch so I'm gonna tell you guys this story yeah there's this story that actually made me make a decision because this auntie I met this auntie one time that was long ago I think it was two years in my marriage this auntie told me this story okay when she told me this story I said to myself no I have to like try every thing every possible best to actually make sure I live and i enjoy my marriage okay so i'm going to tell you this story that she actually told me okay when i'm washing the dishes because i think i have a lot of dishes to wash okay so i'm going to clean up and i'll see you when i'm washing the dishes okay this story is actually juicy and nice okay Let go. Yeah. Oh, yeah. it's the original batman one time, one time, it's a bad man thing. Yeah. It's body, baby. Vicious, let's it's go. Vicious. I'ma make you bounce like a hurricane. I'ma make your bed rock like a hurricane. I'ma, I'ma, I'ma do oh it like food. a. This is the turkey, meat and beef and chicken. This is for F4. This is not blended properly, so there's two for F4. I don't blend it properly, as you can see. There's particles inside. This one is for the stew, so this one is properly blended, okay? This water is peppery water, so I just put pepper, onions, and water. So this is for the obono, obono soup, as you can tell. It's just basically water. Let me stir it, so it's just water, onion, and pepper. So that's for the obono. Fish and frozen vegetables, spinach, okay? All ready to go. This big pot is for stew, a lot of stew because my kids, lot of stew because my kids love stew and rice, stew and anything that's with stew. This one is for a four, okay, the medium one, and this one is for a bono. So three in one, okay. Now it's gonna cook now. So so guys everyone was let me tell you guys this story quickly because i think i'm gonna get busy so guys um this woman told me this story this woman told myself and three other ladies that were just sitting around her she were just talking oh we're so happy for the bride and groom so one girl one lady was just there she was like oh in her marriage she's not been lucky she just got, got divorced and everything so the woman just stepped up like oh my dear what's the matter so she started like oh let me tell you guys this story my own story so the woman had told us that she yeah she had this story that when she got married she got married to this man when they were cutting that this guy was so nice and everything but you know how it is when people are cutting and when they actually got married that it was different so when they got married she cannot see some differences like things like oh i didn't see this when, I, when we were cutting or stuff when we were just when they, that she didn't see this when they were dating you know so the woman was like so things were not going the way she envisioned 
things were not things were not going the way she think things are gonna go you know how things will not go how you think is actually gonna go so that was her situation when she got married and first year in the marriage is always like this second year you know there's always ups and downs the man is just gonna be behaving funny sometimes because they are still like they are still like a bachelor you know they just got married they're not used to that lifestyle you know so this woman said she was gonna be she was always not happy there's always something bothering her everything she'll just get upset and stuff like that and then she not like she not confide in her friends okay she was like like oh i don't care the way her, my house is my house is if my home is not nice if this marriage is not like that fun when i go i'll have to i'll always have to go and meet up with my friends call them chat them off always call my friends like my friends i say my friend they're gonna be my best friend so with the question the person asked me in regards to that is your husband your best friend don't that so like oh you yo, you have to have girls time your husband cannot be your friend you need to leave yourself and just go and have friends drink yes even though I said I don't have like a lot of friends, I do go out for drinks, okay? But those friends are just your friend. They're not your best friend, okay? I use the word best friend and I just I didn't use the word friend, okay? Friend, you have to you have friends, obviously. You have to have people you talk to, like your girly girly chat, you get. But best friend. So do not mistake those two together. Don't think your friends are your best friend. And then, so this woman was not saying the story, okay? This is where my answer came from. So she was not like, she not confiding in her friends, her friends, her friends, everything's her friend, and they will be gossiping about her husband. So she would tell her friend, oh my God, did not believe what this man did, blah, blah, blah. Okay? They will not advise her on what to do. Oh, don't do like that. Don't, don't accept that rubbish. Don't do this, okay? So anything they tell her, that's what she's gonna do. So, Anything her friends advise her to do, that is what she'll always do. So she will go home, she will go and quarrel with her husband because her friend told her this, you know? So. So she thinks, yeah, her friends are her best friends. So basically, So basically, basically, her friends became her best friend. That's the people she confide in, tell them everything about her husband, they will abuse her husband. Even when they come home like that, she'll be like, oh, that useless man. That useless man is here and stuff like that. So the woman was not telling her that, guess what? Guess what? Her friends, they now went their separate ways. Everybody went to their separate ways at a point. People, their husbands transfer, you know, took them to some other country. So people traveled abroad and stuff like that. So she now realized that. The point I'm trying to make here is because when she, when she now said, she now realized that she don't actually need those friends like that. She actually needs because at the end of the day, she was not she was not like, oh my god, she was not left alone because now she has now come back to her husband, isn't it? Yeah, it's because now all her friends are gone. Because your friends they will go. If they have something they will have to do, they will go, isn't it? They will go and find their daily bread. Their life will continue without you. Okay? Their life will continue without you. But your husband will still be the one you come home to. So at the end of the day, she's not like, so when she now have make the decision to come home to her husband and all of that kind of stuff, that relationship is gone. That relationship is not like that because they can't crack Joe. They can't even laugh about this. Just like it's Taylor, like, you know, like you have a friend, but you can't actually make it. You know that kind of friend, like that former friend, you know when you go to work, that kind of friend you have when you go to work, that the kind of friend she and her husband are like, like, oh, what are you going to eat? Oh, let me make you food. Like, they can't even joke about stuff and just laugh or sit and even watch movie. So she now found out that her life, she didn't actually enjoy her life. She now found out that she actually messed up her marriage because she actually left her husband and now have a friend and friends will always go and stuff like that. So, like, it's, so, it's just that irony of at the end of the day, you still have to come back to that person. So why not make that person be your best friend and you guys can joke about stuff and just do stuff together. You can always make it work, you know? People are like, sometimes again, you guys, yeah, you need to have a sense of humor. People don't even have a sense of humor. Because you know what, I noticed in my comment, people are like, oh my God, why is she hitting her husband in the head? Like if me and my husband is playing like eating and I just take something and be like, like, oh my God, she's so rude. She's hitting her husband or 
people even when i take my husband's food be like oh my god why is she rude the you know, I like that's not rude. You can be like jokingly. I can be like comment on the comment like, oh my god, Chichi, why are you taking all her food? That's fine. But some people say she is rude. I like, oh my god, why rude? Like, that's wrong. You get something like that. Have sense of humor. Like laugh about stuff. Laugh about stuff. Play. Play like a baby. You know, just play. Losing up. Sometimes just you just all you need is just to loosen up. Like just make your husband be like your friend that you guys can just play do some play 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 or just do silly things so that just i all i can be sleeping on the bed and i'll just go on the bed and I'll start shaking the bed you think i'm a baby but it's just those things that actually make you guys become friends because i know the question was like how do you manage like you guys are friends it's just that way just do silly stuff i can do silly stuff i don't mind being silly or being foolish being like a baby it's one of those things like you can think i'm crazy i think all i might be sleeping i like wake up because one day asked me to wait one day asked me to wake him around two o'clock so two o'clock i woke him up you asked me to wake you so I didn't wake up so I woke him up didn't wake you just turn I went on the bed I was bouncing the bed bouncing the bed I thought I was crazy yes I think I'm actually crazy but it's one of those things you know then when he wake up he just and uh, take me on take me on the bed and just you know press me down all those it's just those things sometimes it just takes those silly silly kind of jokes just for you know and just so everything to be fun because you're gonna be happy the person is gonna guys yes that's it so after that day i like she told me it was just i think it was just two years old one year in my marriage i just said to myself chi chi you have to make your house your home be what you want it to be you get so i just losing sometimes it's all about tolerating one another you know tolerate each other because you're not perfect i cannot expect the other person to be perfect you know what yeah it's just like a house yeah if you want to buy a house you will notice that no house will have everything you want like sometimes it's just drives you nuts like this one will have good garden there's no driveway this one has nice driveway there's no this this one will have nice living room nice kitchen like you have to work on that to make it your own yeah if you want it to be everything you want you have to what reconstruct you know and make it your own so that's just, just like that's just like an example okay no house like i said you won't see everything it just drives you crazy you will never see everything you want in one house you keep checking and checking and checking and checking you will never see like when we want to get this place here yeah? i love the kitchen size but do i love the like do, do i like the color do i like the brownish brownish no as a youtuber i want all white everything like it's just that thing that you will like one thing and you not like the other but if you want to make it work you change it up okay so yeah you work on it and change it up. You know what I mean? You change it. You change. Okay. Humor is very important. Humor. Like some people are just like uptight. They can't even laugh. Like just smile. That will not take anything out of you. Like just smile. Laugh. Just make everything funny. Like, like, okay. You guys have seen my video, our video. You guys have watched my video. My husband like, you this village girl, you this village girl. I'm not a village girl. I'm not a village girl. I'm not a village girl. Like, I don't even know the way to the village. I don't even know the way to the village. But he was like, don't do that. So if I'm doing something naughty or silly, he might be like, come here, you this. Hello? Hello, Shishi. Yes, darling. Do you see Bolu at home? No. Where's Bolu? Yes, yes. Bolu is home. Yeah. Why? Okay. I just remember that when I come home, I no, Bolly is home. Bye, Felicia. Bolly is upstairs. He's running really upstairs. But we always make fun of each other like, oh, you don't know this. Oh, you eat too much. I can be eating. Shush. I can be eating and you'll be like, hey, my wife, my darling wife, you'll be hailing me. I hear you. Ah. Ah, that part that yeah, you I know you would demolish I say yes, I would say eat jare, just eat, nothing do you. Your your has the money to buy on that wall. Just be eating and we go you are like, yes, darling, high five. I know, but I'd be like, oh what do you mean? You think you're calling you're calling you wanna come in fat, you wanna do this, oh you mean Oh no. Like losing up. So it's just as simple as I don't I don't know if I'm explaining this really well, but this is the way I think I can just explain it. Because there's no better way to explain it where you can actually have maintained a good relationship with your husband okay 
So this is it here. Yeah. People always ask me, oh, if your husband is doing it together, what about if your husband marry on that wife or if your husband leave you or cheat on you or stuff like that? This is what I always tell people. If your husband cheat you, if your husband leave you, if your husband separates, it's not the end of life. Heaven will not fall, okay? Nothing will happen. So far, God did not forsake you. God did not leave you. God did not leave you. If any man leave you, you know, you will move on. And then, if you marry on that husband, you still try to have a happy home, enjoy your life because your health, your health is more important than anything. And happy home is just the best way to have good mental state because otherwise, you're just gonna go crazy. So, if your husband leave you and you go and marry on that husband at the end of the day, try to be your make the, make the happy make make a happy home build your house be try to build that health relationship that beautiful environment you know just that environment that is so nice and everybody is happy okay if that husband leave you again you move on to the other one okay so if i god not forsake you you just have to move on and find on that husband and you know, start a, your, start a new life and don't be like, oh, because that husband I was so nice to that my husband last time and he did this to me because of that I'm not going to love any man. You're just going to just, you're just going to stress yourself and, you know, you're just going to be bitter. Your life will continue to be you're just holding these grudges. Just move on. This is why you have to be a boss lady. Just so money will not, so that money will not be the issue, you know, that will make you like go crazy or stuff like that. But yes. Like people always say, oh my God, you're doing that. If your husband leave, heaven will not fall. Heaven will still be up here and the life will continue. If God did not forsake you and man forsake you, if God did not forsake you, who is man? Okay, you move on and it's try to make another relationship work. Okay, that is it for me. I'll just be happy. Yeah, I think that's it. Guys, I think I'm going to wash my plate quickly and I'm going to show you my food later. But that's it, guys. Put your one set in the comment section, okay? I want to read your own comment as well. Add your own set because I don't know it all. Because sometimes it's just like what you hear from people and advice from people like this. Because sometimes you take your matter to somebody else and the people are not even happy. Like you take your matter to somebody else, like tell somebody your story. The person will not tell, the person will listen and tell you, blah. The next year you hear the person have separated from their husband. Meaning all was not good at the time you were telling the person, the person was like, oh, oh, that's bad, that's this, but all was not good at the time. So that's why they separated, you know, but that's it. Guys, comment down below, thumbs up this video, share with your family and friends, and always remember to tell me I look cute. Make sure you remain cute, yes. Make sure you remain cute. No matter the situation, make sure you always remain cute, okay? Guys, look at my nails. My nails are gonna go brown now. This is why I don't like white tips. Like, look, I'm washing the dishes now. Your girl is that girl that would not wear apron. Do we have apron? Yes, we have apron. We have a lot. You know, my husband used to be a chef. So from that working place, he brought a lot of apron, but your girl would never wear it. Glove is one thing. There's a lot of gloves that your girl will not wear. I just don't want, like something that will just stress me when I'm walking. When I walk, when I'm walking, I just want to walk. Yes. Let go. Yeah. Oh, no. oh yeah. It's the original Batman. One time. Guys, one time. I know I told you all that I'm gonna wash the dishes, but I haven't washed the dishes yet because I was online with a client. You guys know we have this mobile afro hairdressers and beauty so if you are in united kingdom and you want to book home service hair home service makeup book a mobile afro hairdressers i'm going to put the link in the description box okay so it's a platform where you can book hairdressers makeup artists anywhere in united kingdom but yeah i'm going to leave you here so i want you all to leave your one cent okay this also applies to a guy so if you're watching this video and you're a guy this is vice versa because if you're not friend with your husband or your wife who is going to be in the hospital with you when you're sick? Yes. Who is going to take care of you? You think it's your friends? If you're a guy, you think it's your friend that you go about and drink every night, you're going to call some friend. I'll be like, oh, sorry, I'm at work. Oh, sorry, I have to tell the children to do this. Your girlfriend is going to tell you, oh, my God, I'm so sorry. I should have come to help you, but I have to do school rounds. They will always have story to tell you. But your husband or your wife is going to leave whatever they are doing and come to your rescue. Like, come on. So why? Why just make just make the relationship work. I know you guys are going to be like, oh, Chichi, you're lucky, you're lucky. That's why you're saying, talking like this. 
I used to think like that before. I used to think some people are lucky and I'm, and I'm not, okay? That's how I used to think before. Like, oh, you all, this person is lucky. That's why the relationship is like this and I'm not lucky. Or you, the person have a good man and don't have a good man. Or it's like figure it out that sometimes it's two people that have to make this ride work. Like, like it's two people that have to actually work together to make things work. You cannot be saying, oh, the person, the person. You two try your own best to make it work. You know, try as well, okay? Yes, yes. <laughs> well, guys, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe. If you have not subscribed to this channel, share with your family and friends. And guys, I think we're going to be eating this evening. We're going to be eating rice and stew. Maybe I'm, I can film that as well or tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow and I'll film the mukbang, okay? With my delicious stew. <laughs> bye guys love you all bye <laughs>